Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another daily vibe because I was going to share the first one that I did for today, but I decided against it. Um, just because, just for my own personal reasons, I, so I decided I'd do another one. I carry on for the first one I just did. Okay, so this this the timing is fluid. Okay, and, and my first one I started out the reading with about talking about divine timing. We got a lot of newbies here that don't understand about divine timing. I get questions, you know, this hasn't happened or this didn't happen. The timing is fluid, okay? You don't get to choose. If you're sitting here and you're thinking something is going to happen right now, you know, you don't get to choose that. The universe chooses when things are going to happen, okay? Um, sometimes these readings can play out a month later. And the same even for the monthly reading, okay? I can label it for July, but I'm not God, okay? I'm not the universe either, okay? So the timing is absolutely fluid. If you watch the reading, there's a good chance that the reading is going to play out for you at some time, okay? So let's just get started. This is going to be a carryover to the one that I just did. Um, I believe that's what I'm asking for. Um, I do believe I'm going to do a live tonight on my other channel. If you want to tune in for that, um, the link to the other channel is in the description. So anyway, what do, what do we have for the carryover to, uh, the daily that I just did? What is happening? Queen of Cups reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed is very emotional. This is broken hearted. Yeah. Okay. This is broken hearted. We have somebody here that may be feeling needy. Okay. This is deep sadness. Disappointed. Uh, drowning in emotions. You know, very, very wishy-washy. So you may, you know, this, and this is also a fantasy in reversed. Make sure that you're, you're awake. You're not, you know, wearing rose colored glasses. Somebody may be wearing rose-colored glasses. Let's get some more cards before I go any further. Oh, my God. That is definitely an oh, my God card. Um, Four of Cups. Five of Swords. King of Cups reversed. A lot. There's going to be a separation. Oh, my God. There is going to be a separation here. Um, this person is ready. They've made a plan. They have the the plan is intact. The plan it's time. Okay, the plan this this, this guy is following the orders. The orders have already been given. You know, get ready. Get ready for this person to either depart or arrive. Okay, this is an arrival or a departure right here. Um, this is closing down emotionally, emotional shutdown. Now, this might not be a playoff. It might not be. This might be a completely different reading. This is a separation. We have two people that are separating here. This person has been thinking about it. They've been thinking about love. They've been thinking about what love is. They've been thinking about um, following their heart. There's been a lot of hostilities, um, a lot of fighting, a lot of power struggles between these two people. These people definitely don't see eye to eye. Uh, this is a oh my god moment. This nine of swords. This is oh, this is a lot of worry. So we do. This is a very feminine energy. This is somebody that is very very worried. They're very worried about a contract or a separation. There's a lack of spirituality here. We have an individual here that isn't very aware, isn't very in tune with their emotions at all, not able to master emotions, um, very, very anxious, uh, maybe maybe um, being haunted, because this is like being haunted, um, fearful, fearful of uh, the separation fearful of what's going to happen next by the looks of things. Uh, I feel like we have a masculine, this is a very masculine energy uh, that is taking control, that is taking action. This this person has a plan. He is planning on going someplace. He's And it has to do with the future. He's planning on, he's focusing on the future. He's planning on going someplace. Um, somebody's not aware though. They're not aware that this person is leaving. They're leaving. This person's not aware. They may be clueless. They may be definitely clueless. They may have some sort of a fear, though, because it's interesting, because this is definitely fear, extreme worry, um, cries all the time. We could have somebody that uses emotional blackmail as a tactic, you know, cries all the time, weeps, 
wallows, um, uses uh, silent treatment, doesn't talk, um, doesn't communicate, or when they do is very um, whiny, very whiny individual here. Uh, this is um, not happy, discontent. I think both of these people, they've been in some sort of commitment together. They've been in some sort of partnership that was not compatible. It's really not compatible. It's not meant to be. Um, there's been definitely a lot of back and forth. And there's this, this person, some, one of these people has been thinking about another opportunity. They've been focusing and, and, you know, probably trying to love this person who is difficult to love, but this person did so much, um, you know, the queen of cups in reverse is very, uh, hypersensitive, very shallow, very jealous, very scandalous, can be wicked, very revengeful, um, very, very needy. Okay. So it feels like uh, we have one individual here that is, has really, um, or been unable to master their emotions and has made this person decide because this is a decision maker to uh, turn their back you notice this person is turning their back it's like I don't I'm not going to be a part of this anymore it feels like ev the whole world is crumbling down for this person you know this person has reached the point where they're probably ready they're probably ready for this separation but they were just don't know. They just don't know when it was going to happen. They may have been waiting for this person to make the decision to do so. Um, because this is kind of weak. Okay, this person is kind of weak. Um, because they can't master their emotions. When you can't master your emotions, that's not strength. So, been waiting for this person to uh, separate. There's this The lover's re reverse is definitely a separation. Okay. This is, there's a conflict, there's disharmony, there's going to be a detachment. This is, this is a broken relationship where, you know, somebody chooses to be alone or they just decide to go their own way. Okay. Um, I think there's been some secrets. Somebody's been ignoring their intuition. This person up here probably doesn't have any friends. Nobody likes this person because they're all over the place. You know, they, they, they're, they cry all the time or they bitch all the time. They talk behind people's backs or whatever. And so they probably don't have a lot of friends. Okay. Um, and the high priestess reverse is a person that doesn't have a lot of friends either. So this is the end of a contract. This person is making a decision um, to depart because this is a departure. It is a departure. This is shutting down their emotions. I think neither one of these people can master their emotions at this point, but this is where somebody finds the strength, okay, and finds the ability to, you know, go. They, they just, they're going somewhere. They're, they're, they're traveling somewhere. Um, there's been, there's been too much fighting and it's caused a lot of discontent and this person's been thinking about it for some time and they may even, and these are both hearts. Okay. There could even be some heart issues here. So the King of Cups is definitely shutting their heart down. They're shutting down their, their heart. Okay. Um, judgment reversed. So there's been some poor judgment and there's definitely going to be something that is revealed. Um, there's poor health. Somebody um, is moving on from that bad choice. Uh, and they're about to be put on trial. It looks like they're about to be put on trial or, or subject to trial. They made a poor judgment call. But now they're, they're finding their uh, backbone, per se. The emperor takes responsibility, um, does what he has to do, is ready. He's ready for a battle. He's ready to fight. He's ready to do whatever it takes. So we do have a, uh, somebody that is finding their ability to uh, move. Okay, they're they're getting on board. They're getting on board another ship. They're they're taking a ride. They're going someplace. Okay, this this person is traveling to a new destination. Um, getting prepared. He's been getting prepared. You can see he's got the plans in his hand. This person has been getting prepared to take that journey. He has. He's been getting prepared to take that journey because that's his plans right there. It looks like he's he's literally taking the steps, okay? He's he's made up his mind, okay? The emperor is very decisive. Once his mind is made up, his mind is made up. So he's definitely um, going to do it. He's going to hope and pray for the best. He's making a judgment call. I think he's been reluctant to make the judgment call because I don't know why. Why was he reluctant? 
because of the the fight. It, it may have involved other people. I mean, the Five of Swords could be like a battleground, a war zone, or something like that. But um, in this wo person's world is going to be crumbling. Whoever this person is, their world is crumbling down because of this separation. Um, but this emperor has made a decision to focus on the future. He's been waiting for the moment. He has. He's been waiting for the moment. Wheel of Fortune reversed on the bottom. So that is your setback. It's a, There's been a delay. This is uh, something not working out. Past mistakes coming back to haunt somebody. Um, this is a fall from grace. This is a, the Wheel of Fortune is a not fortunate accident. Okay, it's very unfortunate. All right, so this is an unfortunate accident that uh, ends something. It, it, this is I call this card a, a shocking, unpredictable loss. This person, this is a bad judgment call. Judgment reverse. Somebody made a bad judgment call. And they feel guilty. This is feeling guilty. And they've been haunted. Somebody has been haunted by their poor judgment calls. They have. And now they are deciding to go. They are. This person is leaving the path. The decision has been made. With the two of wands here and taking a journey. It's taking a new path. Somebody is definitely leaving. They are definitely going someplace. They are separating from the person that they are not compatible with. Ace of wands. Remember, there we go. The ace of wands right there. They got a new exciting opportunity to start fresh someplace else. So this is a fresh start. And this is just going for it. This person is going to just go for it and hope for the best. This person is taking a leap. So we have a very... Um, experienced wise individual here that is moving on from a bad choice I feel like this person has a lot of regrets they've been haunted they involved themselves with a person that probably didn't know what love was and I think that they loved that person and that's why they stayed but now they got this new vision and I feel like they just decide. They've been planning anyway. This person has been planning. And this is this guy. This guy is all about structure. He's all about order. He's all about doing the right thing. He's about ready to accept and take responsibility for his poor judgment calls. One more card. Empress reversed. Wow. Wow. So somebody didn't value another person. Maybe they dealt with, uh, maybe they had an absent mother. There's mother issues here. They didn't take care of their mother. Their mother didn't take care of them. Or the Empress reversed is a lack of growth, uh, uncaring. Um, jealous selfish we have a we have a mean spirited individual here that is not their soulmate that they are departing from that is what we have this is a termination it is definitely a separation from a person that doesn't know what love is This is really 
We have a fool here, the fool in reversed. This is definitely lack of judgment. So, and this is lack of judgment as well. Somebody was stupid. Somebody was really, really, really stupid. Now I'm going to change his story a little tiny bit, considering the last reading I just did. We could have somebody here that is very smart. This, the emperor is very wise, very experienced. He's headed towards a person that doesn't know their value. Somebody that is easy. Okay, the empress in reverse is an easy woman that doesn't know her value. Okay? And they, somebody's making a poor judgment call. Doesn't lead. It's not meant to be. It could. This could be something coming back to haunt you. There's no heart involved here. Okay. It's not about love. It's definitely not about love. Okay. So I feel like uh, we have a masculine that is that is. Uh, this person has probably, because based on the other reading that I just did, has turned cold. This person is cold. Very, very cold. And I think that they are, uh, they're leaving behind somebody who didn't love them. And you know what happens when somebody doesn't love you? It makes you cold and it makes you not care. And it makes you not care who you hurt. And then, you know, you look for somebody that is weak. It's very much a playoff to the other reading. So... Um, anyhow, and this is get prepared. We have this empress now in reverse that needs to get prepared for an arrival. This is an, this is a woman, a feminine. Here's the masculine. Here's the feminine that is going to be, uh, somebody is coming in and I think about that ace of wands. That's a sexual nature. Okay. That's somebody looking that is. So I'm just, and this is the ace of wands here. This guy has made a decision. He's going, and this person is doesn't know their value, is weak, is in some sort of pain. Okay? So that's interesting. That is definitely interesting. I feel like uh, this guy is very experienced and he's made his plan and he is uh, traveling towards this this uh, mother or, yeah, because the Empress is typically a mother or a mother-to-be. But it is towards this person that doesn't know her value, okay? And wasn't taken care of and is easy to uh, take advantage of. And there will be regrets and there will be sadness. And it doesn't lead to happily ever after. So that's quite a freaking story, okay? This is a foolish, It will. You will. you will regret it. My advice is to just say no. Good luck.